Hey you guys! Today we have one more board that is plug and play for the Creality Ender 3, Ender 3 Pro and Ender 5s. It's the Fly RRF E3 from Mellow. You want to know all the details? Then stay tuned! Hi guys, welcome back! My name is Rui, and this is the Rui Raptor YouTube channel. If you want to help us out, you can by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also help by joining our Patreon page or by clicking on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. As we mentioned before the intro, today we have the Fly RRF E3 from Mellow. This one can run RipRap or Marlin firmware. The board does not have any drivers sorted on, so we can buy it without drivers or together as a kit with Allegro's 4988, DRV8825s, TMC's 2208, TMC's 2225 or TMC's 2209. You also have the TFT display as optional for this board as well. The size of the board is exactly the same as the Creality Stock 1 and the majority of the connectors are the same and at the same location, which means that in terms of hardware, replacing the stock one with this one is not difficult at all. At the back, we have an ESP8266 module that will allow connection through Wi-Fi. The board is equipped with an STM32F407, which is an ARM 32-bit Cortex microcontroller running at 168 MHz, but with no external EEPROM. It has four slots for four replaceable drivers, and although it has one slot for one Z-axis stepper driver, it has two Z-output connectors. These connectors are wired in series. Apart from the connectors that have the same function as the stock board, this one has a few additional ones. It has a connector for a mellow TFT display, PT100 thermocouple, and BL touch. Then we have like the stock board, an always on fan output, and a PWM control fan output. This board has an additional PWM fan output, which can be used for example to control the hot end fan and program it to turn on after a set temperature. Next to the graphic display connector, there are a couple of tactical switches. The first one is only used when burning the bootloader at the factory. The second one is the reset button. At the back we have a small white connector that is used to connect expansion boards. Because the two Z-axis connectors are wired in series, if we want to connect only one Z-stepper motor, we need to close the circuit with a couple of jumpers. If we don't do this, the circuit will be opened and the Z motor will not turn. To install on our board, we have four TMCs 2209 from Mellow. These drivers have the UART and DIAC pins extended at the top. One important detail about this board is that it has no DIAC jumpers to enable or disable the sensorless homing pins. If you have the drivers from Mellow, at the bottom you will find a dip switch that is used to disable the DIAC pin. But if you plan on using drivers from a different manufacturer and you don't want to use the sensorless homing feature, you will need to cut or bend the driver's DIAC pin. With the board, we received a couple of smaller heatsinks. These heatsinks are shorter when compared with the ones that came with the drivers. The shorter ones need to be installed on the drivers located under the board's cooling fan, because the taller heatsinks are too tall and will reach the fan. The driver slots have jumpers for configuration. With the jumpers installed this way, the drivers will be set as standalone mode. Installed like this, we'll set the SPI mode. And like this, we'll set the UART mode. For the TMC's 2209, we will want to set as UART mode.
The board also includes an antenna that needs to be connected to the ESP module. This board is sent with no firmware installed, so we will need to download and install the firmware for the microcontroller and for the ESP module. Online we can find detailed instructions on how to install and configure the firmware. You can use the TFT display with RepRap firmware, but there are also instructions to set up the config files and use the stock Ender 3 display. And because the board is running RepRap firmware, you can access the board through Wi-Fi and control it with DWC. Soon, we will publish the detailed installation tutorial video using Equality Ender 3, so don't miss it. And that's it you guys, hope you liked the video, we will see you guys next time. Bye!